Hi everybody, it's Cash. Welcome back. Thank you very much for joining me. Time once again for another in our occasional series, What's New Age, Pussycat? <laughs> and today I'm going to be testing the Earth and Moon, here it is, the Earth and Moon grounding mat. Uh, and when I say testing, I'm going to be doing muscle testing to see if it's right for my body and also doing pictures for it to test the energy generally. Uh, I have been feeling pretty rough this week. I've had this thing for about three days. And since I got it, I've been using it maybe 30 minutes to an hour every day. I've not been feeling too great. I've had headaches. Pe I've got pains across my abdomen here, which has made doing yoga very, very difficult. And my knees have been all warm and throbby for days. Very, very uncomfortable. Also, I've had problems with my teeth. I've had like toothache and I never get toothache. Um, my theory about teeth is that although the dentists and uh, manufacturers of toothpaste and floss and stuff say that the dangers for teeth come from the outside and you shouldn't eat too much candy or you should look after them, brush all the time and stuff. I've had this theory for decades that the dangers to your teeth and what causes real tooth decay and problems comes from the inside. It's your stresses and your inflammation. And because everything in the body is interconnected if you have inflammation in the body or you're really really stressed it goes to your organs and that somehow manifests in your mouth and causes tooth decay or your teeth to break or whatever that's my theory uh, and uh, this would play into that the fact that I've had toothache for a few days maybe this is actually working uh, whatever it's doing uh, maybe it's actually working and it's impacting my entire body now the principle of earthing is really quite simple uh, on the earth and moon webs I'm not basically sponsored by these people by the way I've just chosen this at random but uh, the uh, on their website earth and moon website they say that the earth is an enormous battery and it's emitting a charge now if we're connected to this charge as human beings we get enormous benefits from that unfortunately most of us uh, most of the time remain completely disconnected from it we wear rubber sole shoes we don't really go outside very much when do we swim or when do we walk along the beach barefoot or on grass barefoot I mean sometimes we might but we don't very often and so we're disconnected from this really really good beneficial uh, charge that the earth emits and so our health suffers as a result that's the theory in fact on another site called very well health I go on a list here they say that some health benefits of grounding that have been studied in it's all like alleged it's all claimed nobody really knows that kind of thing but some health benefits of grounding that have been studied include improved mood, increased heart rate variability, improved blood flow, improved immune system function, reduced post-exertion muscle soreness. I don't really have much exertion in my life, frankly. I might walk upstairs occasionally, but that's it. Uh, reduced pain, improved sleep, reduced metabolic rate, reduced inflammation, reduced autoimmune signaling, disease prevention. I don't know about that. I don't think it cures anything, this thing. But uh, what do I know? Reduced stress, improved wound healing, and so on. It's supposed to be incredibly beneficial, and I decided to buy one. It arrives in this little tube. <laughs> and you get a tester to make sure that you've got an earthing outlet thing that it's working a plug to plug it in with and also you get a bracelet this is a grounding bracelet apparently that you're supposed to wear and uh, you get the mat obviously and then you get a plug and a cable and um, basically the plug this thing here I thought this was an earphone <laughs> it turns out it actually plugs into the mat I don't think that any kind of current runs through the mat you plug it into the earth um, port of your electrical socket and it just ground because everything has to be grounded it just grounds the the mat that way and uh, whatever effects it has it goes into your body so first of all let's just do a muscle test for the earth and moon grounding mat to see if it's right for my body uh, it can only test that I don't know what's right for your body you have to test that yourself but uh, I'll do it for for me let's just see what I get for this is this good for my body oh well 
Okay. <laughs> it's a very firm yes, but given how I've been feeling over the past few days, I'm uh, already doubting that somewhat. But yeah, apparently it's quite good for my body. Uh, now let's do pictures for it. Um, unplugged in. It's like it's just raw out of the tube. Let's just do pictures for it and see what happens. Um, I'm struggling with this. There's not really anything. Um, no, I mean, it's just a thing. It's just an object. It's got a kind of dull coating on it of energy. That's kind of it. There's, there's nothing. So let's plug it in. It's, uh, I've, I've attached the thing to it there, the little earphone. It's now plugged in. Let's, uh, let's just test it now, now that it's earthed or whatever's going through it. Let's just see if there's any difference now. Um, Hmm. I wish I could report that it's uh, it's interesting, but it's really not. Um, there is a kind of, I don't want to put it as a glow, but there's a certain lightness around my fingers. The fact that I'm holding it here, there's a kind of lightness around it. Oh, you see, my knees have started hurting. My right knee, not my left knee, my right knee. That's, I got a sensation in my right knee already. Yike. But there's, that this thing is just dull. There's nothing to this. What is this, like leatherette? Oh, I don't know what this is, plastic? But whatever it is, it's, it, there's, it's a dull thing. It's not, in and of itself, it's not special, um, I don't think. But it does have a kind of lighter, misty thing around my fingers um where it's coming into contact with my body and my knee just had a sort of spasm very interesting is it good for me plugged in yes well if it's good for me not plugged in it's going to be good for me plugged in so i'm going to take my shoes off and i'm going to put my feet on it and we'll test it now with direct contact to my feet because you're supposed to use it while you're sitting at a computer or watching tv or whatever you do or playing the piano oh no you need the pedals don't you but whatever you're doing or playing the flute <laughs> whatever you're doing you can actually just sit and you can have your bare feet on it and it's earthing you it's grounding you while you're doing that it's actually supposedly having beneficial effects so i'm gonna take my shoes off and i'll put my feet on it and we'll see what happens I have very complicated shoes. <laughs> I'll take my socks off. <laughs> take my socks off. Okay. I'm sitting on it now. I've got my feet firmly on the floor on the mat. Alrighty, so now let's do a muscle test for my body. Is this affecting my body in a good way? Yes. Is it harmful in any way? No. Is it harmful in just a tiny, tiny way? Because it's hurting me, it's hurting uh, my, my knees and my teeth and stuff. Is it harmful even in a tiny way? No, no, apparently it's very beneficial for my body. So maybe all the symptoms I'm getting or have been getting for the last three days are pointing to things changing. Oh, I also felt a little woozy. Uh, for the last two nights after taking my feet off it. Um, it was like it had disoriented me slightly and I wasn't feeling too stable. So something could be uh, going on in my body. I'm very, very sensitive to everything. So uh, that could explain it. But uh, uh, it's got a good muscle test. Now let's do pictures. Uh, how am I going to... Well, I am touching it with my feet. So let's, uh, let's just see what pictures come around the mat. I have to say, my knees are already getting hot. What is this thing? I mean, there's no electric current going into my body, so it shouldn't be affecting me in this way. But my knees are already tingling and, uh, and warm. Okay, pictures, pictures, pictures. Um... Oh, it's like two hands have grabbed my calves. Oh, oh, wow. 
Well, it's like two ha- It's like a sci-fi movie. It's like a sci-fi horror movie, uh, like Night of the Living Dead or whatever. Like two hands uh, come up, grab my legs, my my calves, my shins, and pull me downwards into. It's like I'm melting, and pull me downwards into the mat. You become one with it. You become one, not one with it. You become one with the energy of it. Wow, how interesting. I've seen reviews when I was researching this. I've seen reviews online where people said, ah, it doesn't work. I don't feel anything. I tried it for three months and nothing happened. Well, maybe that's you, but uh, I'm telling you, this is, uh, this is uh, uh, really interesting. So it's like two hands pull you, you become one with the energy of the mat. Oh, this is definitely, oh, now I feel good about my symptoms because this is obviously having an effect on me. I can't speak for anybody else, but for me, it's having an effect. And I have slept incredibly well for the last couple of nights, I have to say. If it's a sleep, I mean, I sleep well anyway, but this was a really, really good couple of nights. That oneness, that oneness with the planet, that oneness with the electrical charge, that oneness with the universe probably even, uh, enables you to function in a more harmonious way uh, as opposed to being really stressed and so on. I am shocked by that, that that was so immediate. Oh, Earth and Moon. These people have no idea who I am and uh, I chose them at random pretty much. But uh, but they are uh, they've got something here I think wow okay so now we test out the grounding bracelet that they send you with the mat this is apparently moon lava although it really looks like dried blueberries <laughs> and I'd love to think they ship this all the way from the moon for me especially but I think it's called moon lava because it has uh craters in it it's probably that but i tell you what if you put it on and try to wear it it could scratch a table it's very very rough and uh i had to take it off again because i thought this is gonna do damage but anyway so let's first of all test out this for um for energy so the um the the, uh, the grounding bracelet yeah, I guess it's kind of iffy, uh, slippery. Possibly no. It's all. It's almost like more no than yes for my body. This is not necessarily beneficial. I don't think. Uh, it's it's not bad. It's not harmful, but it's just like it's just a thing you're putting on your wrist. Um, for me, let's just see what it does in terms of pictures. Uh, I don't know. It seems to have a kind of dead energy to it, this. Even if it does come from the moon, it's got a kind of dead energy to it. I contacted my friend who uh, is all about crystals. She knows everything about crystals. And I asked her about it, and I told her it was from the moon. (laughs) And she said, "Uh, it's uh, nonsense. Just get rid of it. Uh, Don't even bother wearing it. So there we go. That's uh, That's the bracelet. But the mat... I mean, it may have a different effect on you, by the way. You may actually love wearing that bracelet. But the mat gets uh, incredibly positive results for me. So let me put my feet back on it again. What are we feeling? Yes, yes, yes. You see, positive results. And the pictures are almost immediate. It's like pulling me in. It's like milking a cow. But it's dragging me into it bringing a kind of uniformity between you and the mat. That's what it felt like to me. So I would say that is, even though it's having um, slightly painful effects in the short term, I would say it's probably incredibly beneficial and that these are a sign, the, the teeth, the headaches, the abdomen pain and the knees which are now getting really warm because my feet are back on it again. Um, All of that is a sign that something good is happening and uh, your body 
is sorting itself out. Uh, I would say that part of the problem of getting older, and now I am officially one of the oldest living humans. <laughs> I never thought I'd get to be this old. But one of the problems that you, you, you have when you get older, and certainly was true of previous generations, is that you get inflammation. You know, those aches and pains that people get. And part of it is dietary. Part of it is just living a life and wear and tear and so on but a lot of it to do with stress and worry and fear and so on. These affect the organs. And if this mat or something like it can somehow reduce that inflammation, uh, then I think we will see the back of our aches and pains and we'll feel much better. I'm going to use this every single day from now on uh, because uh, having done this test, I can see that uh, for me, Again, I can't speak for you. It may be totally different for you. But for me, this is um, an incredibly effective uh, modality. Alrighty, that's all I got. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.